Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from sysadmin102. In today's uh, quick video, I will show you how to fix the issue with the firmware update slow to respond. So uh, if you go to the system firmware and uh, you select status, uh, typically uh, it would have to uh, refresh to get the latest uh, status uh, of your system, whether uh, any packages need to be updated, um, they're going to show up in here. Uh, the problem with it sometimes it uh, seems like it's not responding. Uh, so this typically it because you enable the DXCP IPv6 on your uh, WAN, WAN, uh, wide area network. Uh, however, you might not, uh, your ISP might not uh, supporting IPv6. Or um, another thing is, uh, you might be running a VPN uh, on your uh, for your entire network and you disable IPv6. So IPv6 is not routable. Uh, I believe uh, by default, AppSense actually uh, query uh, over IPv6. So if you have IPv6 uh, DXCP enabled on your wide area network, uh, that's the first thing it's gonna try to query on IPv6 and that's causing some delay. Uh, so in order uh, to fix this issue, it's pretty simple. You would uh, head over to uh, interface and then select um, uh, wide area network. And then you would uh, disable the DXCP v6. And we will save it. Apply changes. All right, and let's head back to uh, firmware and uh, select update. I'm gonna go back to status and select a check for update again. Still a little bit slower. It possibly it because it query the update from somewhere else. So what you can do is you can set the alternate server, pick the one that closest to you. Uh, the closer, the quicker it's gonna be. So for me, I live in uh, California, so San Francisco would be the closest one to me. All right, and we're gonna do a check for update again. There we go. It's a lot quicker. I can refresh it one more time just to show you. We can do a check for update one more time. And as you see, it's go a lot quicker than before. Uh, you know, it's not like it's not responding. So uh, that's it for today. A uh, quick video. Uh, think I might help some of you out. Uh, and if you think the tutorial is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. Bye bye.